Hey everyone, just wanted to make a quick video about the Aquion subshade that just came out. I wanted to compare it to the more popular subshade out there. It might be contemplating between either Fluval Stratum, possibly just ADA Amazonia. You want to see how they compare it to one another. And you might notice that this ADA Amazonia light is in a plastic bag. I had it laying around from another tank I just set up a few months ago. And it had some rips in the bag while we were moving things around. So what I'll be testing here is the uh, cloudiness of the water, what the readings are for the ammonia, pH, and TDS. There really isn't a reason to test out the nitrates or nitrites because they're not cycled. The ammonia would help determine which one leaches the most and which is less toxic to your fish. Alright, so here we're looking at the Aquion substrate first. It's very round. Here's the KD Amazonia, the Fluval Stratum, the AD Amazonia Light. Alright, and now I'll be showing you an up close look of how they feel on your fingers. Okay, so here's the Aquion. It's very rough feels very rocky. Um, you can't break it just by squishing it with your hands. So here I'm taking the butt of a scissor and yeah, as you can see, it's really hard to break. Uh, I really can't see this providing much nutrients to your plants. Looks as good as the Eco Complete or something similar as a Floor Max. And here's the ADA Amazonia. As always, this feels a little squishy. It uh, feels just like dirt, really, in the sense that what you want is a good soil substrate to provide all the nutrients your plants need. And as you can see, it's very easy to squish, uh, move around. The next one up is the Fluval Stratum. Again, feels very similar to the ADA I previously showed. Not much different here. Overall, the first test, they feel about the same. And for the last one, we have ADA Amazonia Light. And this one has been sitting in the bag, in an open bag, for quite some time, so it might look a little rough on the edges. Seems like it might be a little tougher to break, but I would probably just blame that on it being in an open bag for a few months now. But yeah, it looks about the same. Same thing you would expect from ADA Amazonia or any substrate. Alright, now we're doing the pore test. So at first glance, you can see the Aquion substrate really didn't get too cloudy, and the ADA Amazonia definitely did. So the Fluval Stratum really doesn't look too bad. And the 88 light looks a little bit more cloudy, but hopefully that will settle down. And now I'll be doing the TDS check. So these numbers really shouldn't be that significant because I just poured in the water into these containers. So yeah, I just wanted to take these numbers down so you can see what they read afterwards. I personally have 88 Amazonia in one of my 40 gallons have stratum in three of my 10 gallons and I have 80 Amazonia light in a 20 gallon tank which is doing pretty well right now. I don't really have any experience with Aquion substrate only because it just came out. Okay so now we'll be doing the planting test. I have here some Rotala Cellulone Pink. In hindsight I would have rather done this test with some foreground plants but at the time, I really didn't have any difficult, small foreground plants that I can plant in here. Alright, so it's the next day. And as you can see, they all look very crystal clear. Aquion looks about the same as they did when we poured it in. AD Amazonia looks significantly better. Very clear, along with the Fluval Stratum and of course the AD Amazonia Light. Alright, so first, we're doing the pH test.
as you can see, this Aquian for some reason is reading a very high pH. So it looks like a 7.6, which means I need to go to my other higher pH test kit. And looks like an 8.2, which is pretty high. I've honestly never seen a pH that high before in any of my tanks. And for our next one, we have up to 80 Amazonia. As you can see, this looks like it's reading about 6.4, probably 6.6, .6, but we'll just say 6.4. And for the next one, we have the Fluval Stratum. Looks to be very similar to the ADA. It's reading about 6.4, 6.6. It's a, it's a little in between. The light definitely makes it look a little different. And same with the ADA Amazonia light. Look about 6.4, 6.6. Alright, so next up we'll be doing the ammonia test. And for this test, it looks like Aquion is showing about one part per million. And for those who are familiar with AD Amazonia, you would know that this substrate does leach a lot of ammonia. And to my surprise, within a day, it was at eight parts per million. The fluval stratum. Fluval stratum looks to be around 0.5 parts per million, which isn't too bad to be honest. And next up is AD Amazonia Light, which looks to be around 2 parts per million, maybe 4 parts per million. It's to be expected with an AD Amazonia. Alright, and now we'll be doing our second and final TDS test. First, we'll be starting off with the Aquion. In my opinion, this one is pretty significant. This is a 459 for the TDS. The ADA Amazonia is a 348. Blue Vault Stratum reads a 304. AD Amazonia Light reads at 309. This is one of my 40 gallons. I have ADA Amazonia in this one, along with it being CO2 injected, and I dose dry fertilizers, the EI method. If anyone's looking for plants, you guys can check me out on Reddit. My username is Snakey Snake. You'll see it up here on the screen. You guys can check me out on AquaSwap. That's where I spend most of my time. So from here I want to read off the stats that I compiled over the past two days of the testing. First off for the Aquion, I read a 470, pH was a 8.2, ammonia was at 1 part per million, and the TDS was at 459. For the ADA Amazonia, after we poured in the water, TDS read 482. The next day, pH read 6.4, ammonia was at a 8 parts per million. And the TDS were at 348. So the Fluval, after we poured the water in initially, it read a 460 on the TDS. A day goes by and the pH read a 6.4. Ammonia read 0.5 parts per million and TDS read 304. As for the AD Amazonia Light, TDS read 468. The next day the pH was a 6.4. Ammonia at 4 parts per million and the TDS was 309. Uh, I hope this video helps you decide which substrate you would choose to purchase. Based on my testing, I would really stray away from the Aquion, only because it doesn't look like it would provide your plants with much nutrients. It is very similar to the Carib Seed line products such as Floramax, EcoComplete. All these substrates have a different price range. The Aquion probably being the cheapest one, I purchased this single bag at around $15 versus that bag of AD Amazonia pay $30 for that one. The Fluval Stratum, I believe I paid around $20. And a similar size bag of AD Amazonia Light would cost me probably around $25 based on the fact that it won't last as long as the regular AD Amazonia. 
and I just chose the probably the most common subtraits you'll run into or possibly read up on any of the forums. There are a few other subtraits I left out, but only because I couldn't get my hands on them and it would just really cost me a lot of money. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all for checking this out and, and I'll be making more videos shortly.